Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. What the PGA Tour deeply regrets about the implementation of the PIF agreement, when on June 6 the PGA Tour and Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund, which supports Live Golf, announced some details of their proposed partnership. There was shock and confusion in the golfing world and beyond. For golf fans, tour guards and even the players themselves, there were far more questions about the secret deal than answers misunderstanding. For this, we take full responsibility and deeply regret it. Going forward, we firmly believe that the more the facts are discussed and understood, the more our voters support a possible final deal if it does, and look forward to the positive and lasting impact it will have on all levels of our game. It also explains why Price believes the pact, if approved, will become a very favorable outcome for the PGA Tour, and likely serves as a preview of what Price and Tour Policy Board member Jimmy Dunn who Monaghan has credited with brokering the proposed deal with Al Rumayan, will testify Tuesday on Capitol Hill, where both are scheduled to answer questions from the U.S. Senate Standing Subcommittee of Inquiry, examining the Tour PIF agreement. Monaghan, who is recovering from an undisclosed medical condition, will not be present, nor will Al Rumayan or Live CEO Greg Norman both of whom cited scheduling conflicts. The hearing will be chaired by Senator Richard Blumenthal, the subcommittee chair, and Senator Ron Johnson, the most senior member of the subcommittee. As Blumenthal detailed in a June 21 letter to Monaghan, the intent of the meeting is to explore the proposed agreement, the future of the PIF-funded Live Golf, the risks associated with a foreign government's investment in American cultural institutions, connected, and the implications, to the questions everyone, Johnson added in a statement, I hope that this hearing, and any other role that Congress plays on this matter, will be constructive. Last week, in an interview with the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, Johnson said he,